Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Babatini. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I post content on front-end engineering and we are almost at 1,000 subscribers. Yay! I am so happy. I am elated at the moment. I am so grateful. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for liking them videos. Thank you for viewing them videos. So in today's episode, we want to look at Angular Directive and we are going to build a simple flag input directive so the flag input works in a way that when you input the iso of the country in the input box it displays the appropriate flag for it okay um, pretty much simple and right so what is angular directive or what is an angular directive if you have not gone through the angular 101 series i would advise you to go through it i did a couple of you know breakdown on some of this concept all right i tried as my best possible to ensure that you know they are granular in nature okay the angular directive is a class with the act directive you know decorator and this allows you to change the behavior of a specific element or a group of elements in the dom the dom simply means document object model all right so the directives allows you to extend the capabilities of the html giving the html superpowers like superman all right by attaching you know some sort of custom behaviors to your elements attributes and even class right so there are three types of of you know three types of directives in angular um we have the component directives you have the attribute directives and we have the structural directives right without further ado let's get into the code already enough of the talk okay so right here i have a start start bliss you know application opened and this is an angular application uh you can see i have the source folder here the angular json and html the either does html is here then the main.ts uh, you can see we are using inline templates for this okay if some of the things i'm saying sound strange make sure you go back to the angular 101 series and, and and binge watch it watch everything right watch everything comment like and all of that good stuff okay so i'm going to remove this guy right here and what i'm going to do is i am um, going to add a form okay just going to add a form here and add this form then i want to add a div okay add my div right here all right so i'm going to add the input for what we want to achieve so add a placeholder here and I'm gonna say enter a value okay and type it's got the text all right and okay, let's just close this right here okay so we have that i'm not going to do styling here basically we just want to talk about the angular directive all right so to to create an angular directive i'm just going to come right here and right click angular generator directive and I'm going to call this flag imports, right? Voila. So we have a directive created for us. Okay. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to change this to flag imports, the selector name to flag imports, and this is an input. All right so i have my constructor here already so i want the the element ref i want to be able to reference the elements so element ref okay and we need to call element ref in our angular core nice okay so how we're going to achieve this is by using 
a host listener so basically the host listener um, declares a dumb event to listen for and then when when the host listener listens um, for the dumb event and then it, it now provides a handler method to run when the event occurs so he listens for any you know dumb event and then you know gives you the ability to manipulate or do some stuff with it all right okay so I'm, how did you achieve that you just go at host listener okay and what we want to listen for is the input right okay and I'm going to do this right here and i need the value of you know the input so event or target dot value okay dot value all right this is this sounds good uh, looks good rather um what's this error missing implicit any type hmm we are not adding type yet so let's let's skip this so let's add our input I can type input then the value is string all right okay so we are almost there first of all let's make this standalone why not it's a standalone true remember the standalone api so standalone true and so what we want to do is we are going to um use a, a particular url right? i just found it online um that is going to help us with the flags okay right so i'm going to come here and do a const flag url Okay, and remember your back tick and https slash slash tinkies flagpedia.net then data slash flags slash w one one six zero one one six zero and this so we want the value of the input to be added here okay so i'm going to do this so add the value here and dot png and that's it all right so let's do a couple of styles here so this dot l element dot native element dot style dot background background image all right so what you want to do is we want to set it to the URL, I want to set it to our flag URL variable. Would that make sense? So, um, flag URL, like so. And, okay, that's nice, nicely. Then, EL element, native element dot style dot background repeat and we want no repeat no repeat haha <laughs> funny all right so the next one is the background position we want to move it to the far right all right so native element dot style again dot background background position equals to right center lastly we want to set the size of our flag native element dot style once again dot background size then 32 pixels okay so right now we are done with almost done um we're going to make a few changes later on uh we are almost done with this guy so um we need to call our flag input directive here 
So to do that, remember the flag input directive, the selector is flag input. Okay, so come right here and I'm going to add my directive. Alright, so if I type US, 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 it's not working. Why? Because we need to call our flag input directive inside this particular component right here so we need to import it so this is the standalone so we need to import it so import my flag input directive okay fingers crossed let's try it again nice simple just like that okay so one thing i want to do again to wrap this up is i want to be able to do the search when the length right is equals to two right so because um we just want to um let us okay so this guy right here is going to fire when the length is equals to two us i'm try ng try el okay try at okay um which other one ghana okay um let's try uk um that's not the iso for uk um which other ones i don't know anyway right you can go ahead and you know expand this and do whatever it is you want to do with it and basically that, that's all for this tutorial if you like this particular video make sure you leave a comment like this video and subscribe to this channel if you're new and um yeah we are almost reaching 1k subscribers we're going to trade party party whatever and that's all for today's video make sure you keep learning bye for now catch you on the next one